hello and welcome to my second week as an official full-time author. It is Monday, March 6th. It's about 11.30. And today my plan is more house chores than writing. Uh, I want to try to get maybe about half an hour to 45 minutes of writing done right now. And then I'm going to get a bunch of stuff around the house. And if I get done with that early, I will come back to writing. So I've already gone grocery shopping. Um, what else? That's about it. I've already done grocery shopping, uh, did some dishes, all, you know, some boring stuff. Wiped down the bathroom a little bit and gross, boring stuff. So we left off. I didn't quite finish an Ari chapter. And I want to finish that. I also want to start another chapter if I can, if I have enough time. I definitely need to finish up this Ari chapter. Uh, what else do I need to do? I need to do something else writing wise. Oh, I finished up the internal files for, uh, what's it called? My author planner. And I created an account on Lulu and I tried to get my files uploaded, but something was wrong. I don't know. So I have to fiddle with the internal files a little bit. Again, you guys are crooked. Hold on. Is that better? I don't know. Could you even tell? I don't know. So we're going to play around with that. I need to make a cover. So I'm going to have to play with that. It's going to be, this is like the worst part for me for self-publishing is when the print on demand company is like, there's something wrong with your file and you have no idea what it is or what they mean. Like they'll tell you and I just, I don't know what that means. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that's pretty much it. So I just have to figure out what that means. <sighs> I don't know if, if it gets me too much trouble, I might just offer like the PDF file. I don't know. We'll see. Cause I don't know if I want to deal with, <laughs> deal with it. I don't know. I just really want it spiral bound. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to get to writing. I'm not going to ramble on too much in this intro. I'm going to have my latte that I made. I made a latte. Uh, I burnt myself on the steam, made a couple mistakes, but it's fine. Actually, I haven't even tasted yet. Is it okay? Mm, I put a little too much vanilla syrup in there. That's okay. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Let's get to writing. You know, instead of waiting for a good day to happen, you know, waiting around, the ups and downs, you know. I Hello. It is Tuesday. Hi, it is Tuesday, about 6.30. I thought the neighbors were done with the construction, but nope, they are not. Anyways, it's Tuesday at 6.30. Didn't film much this morning. I did meet up with my friend Gabby, uh, who is also a writer. Her book is, hold on, gotta find it, gotta find it. This is her book. You can check it out. It's on Amazon. The Distance to Love. Look at that pretty cover. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. I have not yet read this book. It's okay. I talked to her about it today. <laughs> uh, I've got a ton of other books I need to read at the moment. So, but we were both very productive today. We went to a local coffee shop. <sighs> excuse me. No, excuse the shoveling. I've tried to wait, but they're, they just, there's no end to it. Anyways, we were very productive today. I got two chapters done. I think she said she got like 1800 words or something. I can't remember. She hand wrote everything. I wish I could still do that. I can't. My wrist is too, too screwed up. So, and I don't rest it like I should, but anyways, um, Oh my god, they're finally leaving. 
I know they're just doing their job, but like they go at it for like 12 hours a day. Like it's excessive. They've got to be tired. But anyways, um, I'm going to try to get a little more writing done. It's so much easier to get writing done now. Like when I'm not tired from a job or stressed out from a job. I have never written so easily before in my life, like so consistently. Usually I get two chapters done maybe like a month. Now I'm getting like two chapters done a day. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube though and do my nails. I like doing my nails. It's just kind of, I guess it's kind of a hobby. I wish I could do like fun designs on my own, but I usually just get like press-ons with fun designs. I really wish I could afford because <laughs> I know I know a couple nail artists. My friend David's brother, his Tank, is a nail artist and I wish I could afford to get my nails done, but I can't. <sighs> One day, maybe for my birthday, but I'm just going to go with black. Like, you don't care. This is a writing channel. You come for writing, not nails. Um, so I'm going to watch probably some YouTube videos, some writing vlogs, maybe some, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling some documentaries though, like some history documentaries, if I can find a good one. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm in the mood for, but that's what I'm going to do for right now, and then hopefully get some more writing done. I wrote a good villain chapter today. Oh, I love writing villains, you guys. They are so much fun, especially this one. They are so unhinged, and it's just absolute chaos to write in their point of view and I love it so much so much uh downside today I got a return from Ingram Spark I don't know who returned it but it doesn't look red or even opened at all like there's no crease or anything so I'm assuming maybe a bookshop just didn't sell it that's okay it happens uh I do have returns on so people can return my book which I'm glad I did <laughs> since I blew up and a ton of bookstores have, are now ordering my book. Uh, but I have them ship back to me because I can end up making that money back at maybe like an in-person event or something. So uh, how it works is Ingram just kind of deducts the book and the shipping from me, which unfortunately that's kind of sad. But... I'll just resell it and and probably just break even on it so it's, it's better than losing money so uh my books finally came i think i mentioned that yesterday i don't remember this is what happens when you live on top of each other i cannot wait to move and have no neighbors again i love my neighbors there's nothing wrong with my neighbors i just don't like noise <laughs> I like the noise of like nature although I honestly I don't mind dogs I love dogs I have dogs they bark it's whatever I'm not knocking any of my neighbors <laughs> it's just sometimes it's like I want to quiet I wish we had like noise reducing windows or what, oh, you know what I mean um, our front window is like that but not not up here so anyways rambled on for a little bit too long I will check in after I get some writing done hello it is Thursday the 9th and I didn't film yesterday because I was kind of tired <laughs> filmed a little bit on Tuesday I think Tuesday I met up with my friend Gabby and we hit a local coffee house slash restaurant had a very productive writing afternoon I got over like 2,000 words done I think on Tuesday yesterday I was feeling pretty tired I didn't write that much I only got like 800 words and I just kind of did nothing yesterday <laughs> uh, and right before dinner we went and saw my grandfather because it was his 90th birthday so that was really nice uh, quick family get together and today I went out to Geneva to Scribblers and met up with Genevieve 
Warnacek to do a writing afternoon as well, and we were both really productive. It was so much fun. I am loving meeting up with other writers to write. Oh, it's so nice, because writing can be so lonely, but when you are able to get together with writing friends, it is so awesome, because you can especially like bounce ideas off of each other and just talk about writing and you have someone right there with you to talk about it and it was just it, it, it was just so nice uh, and since I was up in Geneva I hit the bookshop to drop off a signed copy of a book that someone bought because the uh, pretty good books that's where anytime I reference the bookshop <laughs> I mean pretty good books unless I say otherwise <laughs> <laughs> but I stopped off at Pretty Good Books to uh, drop off a copy so they can mail out. <sighs> My books finally came in, and I'm just going to keep them for a library event at the end of the month. Uh, the rest of the of tonight is just going to be kind of chill. Um, I don't know, I've just been feeling kind of tired this week. I haven't been sleeping well, so it's probably why. Don't know why. I don't know why I don't sleep well. Who knows? Uh, but I got a little over a thousand words today. I added a couple paragraphs to a chapter I started yesterday. I started a new chapter. I got a pretty good opening for it. I got maybe like 700 words for it. And then I summarized another chapter. I didn't write it, I just like kind of brainstormed it a little bit uh, because Scribblers was only open until 3 o'clock and it was like 2.30 so I wanted to hurry up and get the idea out of my head before I forgot about it. So yeah, that's my update. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, I plan on doing some atmospheric writing again down in the basement, hopefully. So I also got to clean down there, so I'm going to be down there anyway, so. But yeah, that's my update for this week. Kind of a chill week. I've got a couple events coming up soon. I booked another event for July, a, a big library event out in Twinsburg. We've got, later this month, I've got a podcast interview, a library event, and once a month at Pretty Good Books, we have a book club at 10 o'clock and a writing club at one o'clock on the last Sunday of every month. So if you are local, you should come join us. This month we are reading The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. And since this will be our first writing meeting, we're just gonna chill out, hang out. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out and kind of talk about what we would want the writing group to be, kind of a meet and greet, get to know each other kind of thing. So it'll be fun. I have kind of decided not to film on the weekends because I want to try to take the weekends off so I can give myself a break. But I will film that because I think that'll be pretty fun. I know you guys will want to see stuff like that. So Yeah, okay, bye. That's a close up on my face. Hello, welcome to my messy kitchen. It's Friday at like almost four o'clock. I just have not been filming like I did last week because I'm just tired this week. I have been writing. I've been averaging about a thousand words per day, which is really awesome. That's way more than I usually do. The words are coming so much easier. Ugh. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and probably say that like, I'm probably not gonna film anymore this week. Uh, I don't know. We will see. <laughs> I'm trying. I gotta get used to it. Uh, I gotta plan a little better. I mentioned in last week's vlog how I wanted to like plan out my days and I kind of just did not do that this week. <laughs> I just didn't. But I'm still, I'm still getting used to being at home. I did go meet two of my writer friends this week, which was amazing and one of the reasons why I didn't film like I don't like to film in public and I don't really want to put other people on camera unless they're really okay with it um so I just don't do a lot of filming in public because it's just 
weird. Like it's just weird. And people will look at you like, really? So <laughs> I tried to subtly get a little bit of um, the coffee shop out in Geneva. Um, it didn't work out very well, but it's okay. I tried. Uh, I've just been doing a little bit of writing at a time. My wrist has, has been bothering me this week. So I haven't really been doing like long writing sprints, I guess, or long writing sessions. So I'm about to make homemade chicken soup. Tim's not feeling well and the weather is gross and it's, it's just, it's a soup day. It's a soup day. And I felt like chicken soup. I usually make Zupa, which is, uh, a creamy, not that creamy, but it, Zupa Toscana, uh, it's got sausage and potatoes in it. It's so good. I, uh, started with a copycat Olive Garden recipe and then kind of like made my own a little bit. And, oh, it's so good. It's my favorite soup. But tonight just felt like a good old fashioned chicken noodle soup. Um, let's see. I've been writing a lot of emotionally draining scenes this week. Like with Ari and Anwil kind of dealing with some PTSD and a lot of grief. Uh, so the, the opening... <laughs> For book two is gonna be is gonna be heavy so uh, oh, that's probably why I'm so tired because those scenes are just mentally draining and I'm trying to balance it out with a little bit of humor because that that's what I like uh, I don't I've mentioned before that I don't like Joss Whedon but I like the there was a, a quote that he said something about like make it dark make it sad and then tell a joke or something. I don't know. Um, and I know he's not the only one that writes like that, but that's, that's the balance that I like in movies. I like where the tension is relieved by a little bit of humor because I have anxiety. <laughs> and if there's no tension relief, I'm not doing it. I'm not watching it. Like I could not watch The Walking Dead. Game of Thrones was really hard for me to watch. Um, so yeah, who's this? It's my Daenerys. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. She's not on camera a lot because she doesn't hang out with me a lot. Well, she does, just not in my office. Hello, what? Oh, there's a big goofball. Daenerys, what are you doing? My floor is a mess because it's muddy out and there's no point in cleaning it right now when they're just going to go out like five more times. Um, no, no, ma'am. You were just out. Is it dinner time? No, it's not even dinner time. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, she just wants a T-R-E-A-T. Don't you? Can you spell it now? She probably can. She can spell a thing. I don't know if you know what that means. The W-A-L King. She can spell it now. She knows because she's too smart for her own good, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You were just out. You were just out. I know. Anyways, that's my update for right now. I'll try to update you guys a little bit. Tomorrow is probably not going to do any writing, and Sunday's D&D &D day. Actually, I'm going to try to film a little bit of that, because that's fun. So, I'll see you Sunday. Uh, da, 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 da. Did you die? <laughs> From one damage? <laughs> You're only at level one. That stubbed my toe. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, your turn. It's my turn. Oh, it's uh, You go last. <laughs> Gonna do the two-handed. My two short swords. One D6 plus four. Are you targeting... One or multiple people with this? Just one.